Hey, what's up guys, Eva 94 back with another action figure review. Today we are looking at the Hasbro Marvel Legends, X-Men, Age of Apocalypse, Sugar Man, Build-A-Figure Wave. This is Jean Grey, and this one comes with the biggest piece of them all for the Build-A-Figure. It pretty much takes up the entire package. We got the front face and the back, maybe the body, I don't know what's in there. We're going to check it out. And then we have just Jean Grey snugged in on the side right there. And uh, the side of the box looks like that. Again, very nice artwork, I like it. And on the back of the box we have the rest of the wave. We have Sugar Man on the left side. And then the read up that reads, Jean Grey can read and project thoughts and stun opponents with pure psionic force. So if you guys were interested in this wave, it is up for pre-order on BigBadToyStore.com. I got the links down below in the description where you guys can check it out and order yourself a set. Alright, so just in case the name of the wave didn't give it away, this is the Age of Apocalypse Jean Grey. Not my most favorite look of her. It is very different. And once again, just like every figure in this wave, except for Dark Beast and I guess Weapon X if you count him. But once again, you just get the figure. You don't get any alternate hands or heads or effects, which is weird because Jean Grey always comes with some kind of effects, psychic effects that they always repack with her. Um, they just gave her the biggest build a figure piece here. And here it is. Here is the face of Sugar Man. As you see how big it is, fits in the palm of my hands. Uh, very detailed and nice. Look at the tongue. Crazy. Can't wait to get into this in the Build-A-Figure review. Also comes with, I guess, the body or the front body because here we have the front where the face goes and then the back side is missing. So somebody else has the back side. Um, so I don't know what to call this. The face and the front torso, I guess I should call this, is what Jean Grey comes with. We can see the paint on her face and the hair is actually actually painted. It's not just one color. We have two different reds. Got a darker red and a lighter red. So that's a pretty nice added detail. The paint on the face is clean and the rest of the body is pretty clean too. Um, and that's it. I mean, not much else to show. There it is. So we'll just move on to the next thing, which is the articulation. All right, so the head is on a ball jointed hinge right there. So she is going to look down a lot, and she's going to look up a lot. There's a swivel, 36 degrees. There's, a, I guess, a little tilt, nothing significant there. The arms are going to go forward, though, but she does have these shoulder, um, I don't know what to call it, but shoulder pieces here that hinders the movement going forward. So it's going to angle it. That's kind of crazy, right? So there's nothing you can do there. Um, I mean, the articulation is there, unless you force it, but it's still going to be angled out. Yeah, uh, in and out, just fine. There is no bicep swivel, uh, only a single jointed elbow. There's a swivel at the elbow, swivel at the wrist with a hinge. We have a diaphragm joint that moves back pretty far and forward. Swivel, left and right, 360 degrees. The legs will kick forward. Again, there is no waist swivel. In and out, thigh swivel double jointed knees then we have an ankle rocker I mean sorry a ankle hinge and then the ankle rocker all right so first up in the comparison we have the Jean Grey and this is the original Jean Grey or the Jim Lee Jean Grey that came in the Return of Marvel Legends wave I don't remember if it was the Rocky Raccoon wave or if it was someone else but this is not the new one from the three pack look at the vast difference there and there she is next to the Age of Apocalypse Weapon X. And next to the regular Weapon X. And next to the Jim Lee Tiger Stripe Wolverine. There she is next to Sunfire. And next to Dark Beast. And there we have her next to a NECA TMNT Master Splinter. Next to a Mezco 112 Collective Gomez. And a Star Wars The Black Series Cara Dune. I just realized how shorter and smaller Black Series Star Wars figures scale next to Marvel Legends. Alright, so this by far was the quickest review so far of the entire wave. But I have shown everything that I have to show of the figure. Not sure how popular this version of Jean Grey is, but it is necessary to complete your Age of Apocalypse. 
mutants and x-men so definitely nice to have it because it's probably the only figure or the only age of apocalypse gene gray that exists now so it's cool to have figures that we've never gotten before uh, but that's gonna do it uh hope you guys enjoyed the review stay tuned for more uh backtrack to any of the figures that you may have missed because i have reviewed some of them already i'm halfway through uh, and then we'll get to the sugar man build a figure so see you then be sure to like comment and subscribe and as always have a great day bye that's crispy